Hello, design champions. Welcome to Monday. <laughs> I missed you guys so much. Oh, my throat. I hope you all have been doing so well recently. Today, I have two projects. Remember the project we did called uh, MC2 Medcomco? I got feedback on those logo designs, and basically, um, I, I have to make some new logo directions. And then second project for today is finishing up work on the purity animation. So, let's get started. Venture into the darkness, something spark, kids. <laughs> okay, news update on MC2. They don't want to go with MC2 anymore. They want to go with Medcom Co. Cool, and it can either be all caps or all lowercase, I think is the direction they prefer. If it's possible to touch on all four of these ideas, writing, medicine, science, and process. Something that sets them apart is that they create long-term relationships. Some terms that characterize their company are expert, reliable, focused, dedicated. So basically, I'm going to create uh, three new logo directions based on this new information and a little bit of a change. So uh, let's see how that goes. Let's uh, skippy hop into it. Yo, let's go. So there were a number of things that they wanted to touch on but uh, I wasn't sure I could make something that included all of them. So basically, I wanted to try to work with three ideas. Science, process, and what was the third one? Oh, man. Uh, my mind is blank. Oh, yeah, process. Wait, did I see that? <laughs> Science, process, and relationship. Okay, that's, that's, that's really what I wanted to work with. So I started with kind of a hexagonal doohickey. It's very sciencey, you know, you put hexagons together. And then I thought, man, this is so good because I can also fit in process because it, the logo I end up with for this guy is like almost kind of a point A to point B and, and, a, and a wiggly road because the process is a journey and it's not always straightforward. And so Medcomco helps you navigate that process. And then the third idea on that, that previous guy we were looking at, is that it's almost an infinity symbol, which is representative of like, like a long-term relationship. Super cool. Then I had this idea for like a DNA strand kind of jam. And I, I couldn't figure out how to make it work in a good way. One of the things that we wanted to stay away from specifically was things that are too in your face, to ideas that are just too blatant. That was probably one of the problems with, with the last round. You know, and, and that's also why I'm staying away from both writing and medicine for this one, because it's I think it's kind of easy to fall into um, like making a cross or a syringe or something, and this was the point they brought up. So I thought um, just working with, with science and process and relationship would bring some pretty cool uh, abstract ideas out, L a little bit cooler. Um, so basically, I came up with this guy, and I finally got the DNA strands to work in a really unique, interesting way. And I'll explain it a little bit later what I think it looks like and, and how that reinforces the idea of relationship, which I will do now. So the first guy on the left is an infinity symbol. It represents a journey, and um, it also represents something pretty sciencey. The one in the middle is um, kind of a DNA gene strand thing, but if somebody asks, but it's not necessarily clear. But what the thing I love about this is that it almost, it's indicative of, of two hands coming together. So it's almost as though the pharmaceutical company or whoever Medcomco is serving, they're the bridge between that company and uh, the customers or, or practitioners who they're going to be bringing the product to. And that's a really great connection, I think, for relationship-wise. But it also, it looks a little bit scientific. And the one on the right is, you can see in the middle of an almost infinity sign is that they are two points. So Medcomco helps direct where the product should go, how it should be placed, and then it's almost as, a, as though it's a track around. So it's indicative of, of a journey and a process. So those were my thoughts. Uh, 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 fill out the poll in the top right to let me know which one you think is the best. It will help me and, and, uh, and Medcomco uh, figure out which direction we should go. 
Fi uh, fingers crossed they like these. Okay. All right, y'all, cool kids. I finished with those logo directions. Let me know what you think about it, and uh, I'll keep you updated on the process as we move along. For today's second project, I have to continue with the purity animation. Basically, I have all the frames worked out. Last time I worked on it, I got all of the layers and everything sorted in Illustrator and imported them into After Effects and separated them all out onto good layers so that I would be ready to animate now. Basically, I just need to make sure everything times up with um, Andrew's voiceover, animate the characters. I'm not gonna go like full tilt on entirely animating all of them, but I think so far how I set it up is there's certain aspects of each character that I want to animate to give it enough life and uh, hopefully there's enough scenes to do the whole thing. So uh, I'll, I'll finish that and then I will show you. Okay, I finished this round of the purity animation. Uh, I guess I guess it's only a minute long, so here it is. If you have ever been a part of church leadership, you know how difficult it is to get engagement from your members. Planning events is a struggle and nobody seems to know when activities are going on. Certain members of the church feel left out and alienated, and it seems that the community is scattered. Purity is here to solve that. Purity is an intimate, private, social network mobile app designed just for your local church. You can share photos with your community, post events so everybody is up to date, and chat with other members. Purity will be the glue that keeps your church community close. Nobody should feel left out. Our app will strengthen your church community and ultimately bring people together. Oh, yes. Okay, design champions, thank you so much for being here. Uh, let me know which one of the logo directions you prefer. <laughs> let me know how you think I did on the purity animation as well, and as always, I will see you tomorrow with another video. And tomorrow it will be, you guys rule. Where well, we'll be doing some redesigns, so uh, come back for that one. Okay, stay awesome possum, and I'll see you later. Alligator, bye bye. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yeah.